This week's Parsha is Parsha Acharemo, and it talks about a few topics, including Teshuvah. It's interesting because it comes right after Pesach and not Rosh Hashanah. Why do you think it is here that we read about Shuva? We took a poll and we chose our favorite two answers. Pinchas Rosenfeld says that the Jews needed to be pure before they received the Torah. Rabbi Top's answer is that the, re the Shorash of Shuva is Shuv, which means return, so Shuva really means return to your normal self. It relates to Pesach because the Jews are going from slaves to being free. Daniel and I feel that it's because when you do an Avera, even if you try to forget it, deep inside you there's a bad feeling about what you did. This relates to Pesach because the Jews had a feeling like they must have deserved the slavery for something they did and they wanted to do tshuva and receive the Torah as fast as they can. In reality, when a tzaddik does an Avera, he worries so much and does tshuva with all of his heart. When most people do Avera, they don't get too worried or disturbed and they even try to forget it. Really, every Avera is a crime. We have to think about everything we do at all times. We must stop ourselves from doing Avera. In conclusion, the reason the Parsha is here is to show us that we must do Teshuvah all year. Really, we shouldn't do Avera, but since no one is perfect, we should concentrate on our Teshuvah and continue on our path of performing mitzvot. Thank you and Shabbat Shalom.